everybody. Welcome back to another fun craft we're going to be doing for Passover. I'm Miss Courtney, and this is Melody. And we're super excited, so let's get started. First of all, the craft that we're going to do is called a whirly gig. That's a really fun word. And it's gonna be all about the Seder plate. If you don't know what the Seder plate is, I provided a really fun printable. Let's hold it up. <laughs> and there's a link down below where you can print this out yourselves and color it, or just to kind of look at it. And um, so the materials that you're gonna need are a paper plate. Mom and Dad's help with some scissors to cut the plate to turn it into a whirly gig. And you can use whatever kind of art materials you want. So you can use markers, stamps, crayons, stickers, whatever it is that you want to decorate. Um, today we are going to be using paint because this one loves to paint, right? Yeah. And what we're also going to be doing is um, we, we looked inside of our random craft bin and we found different items to represent the different things on the Seder plate. So um, here we have the egg, we have the bitter herbs, the shank bone, the, um, the lettuce, the hazaret, and um, the haroset and the parsley. So we have all different kinds of elements and we're going to be incorporating all of this into our whirly gig. So let's get started. Okay, so we are finished decorating the one side of the plate. We are going to be painting, coloring, decorating, um, whatever you guys chose to do. We're gonna be doing both sides of the plate because you will be seeing both sides of it in the craft. So Melody has done a fantastic job here um, painting this side of the plate. And while we, <laughs> while we wait for it to dry, we're going to be coloring this right here. Melody is finishing up coloring her beautiful Seder plate. And so the next step that we're gonna do, because the plate is still drying, is we're going to cut each portion of the Seder plate out. So um, depending on the age of your child, and um, if they have skills using scissors and safety scissors at home, they can very well do this portion. Um, and this would be great for their, um, their fine motor skills. But if you wanna help them, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so Mel Mel has been cutting out her pieces. And what I did was I just made it a little bit easier and cut them up in bigger sizes for her. And she's going around and cutting the little circles. And she's doing such a great job. See yeah. guys, this is so nice because each portion of this craft is just so drawn out and it really is up to you on how much time can be used for this. Um, my kids at home are very much into art. Careful! So this is like my sun that I made and it also has orange because that's a sun color and it's really pretty. So this was the same plate that she had painted. Um, we just flipped it over, so now she's, gonna, she's painting the other side. Obviously this would have worked better if we had a, a plain white paper plate, but whatever. I think that the little flower and leaf designs will be pretty anyways when, when we uh, finish our whirly gig. Okay, so we are back. We have finished letting side one and side two dry. And then as you can see, I went ahead and I took my scissors and I started right over here on the edge of the plate and I just cut into a spiral. So basically, you now have it's your really whirly gig shape. So, we are still not done yet. I mean, you can be done if you want to, um, if that's all you wanna do, but we are making this Passover Seder style. So now we are going to go ahead and glue on these beautiful creations that Melody made, as well, as our little craft that also whoop, incorporate the Seder plate. So we're gonna go ahead and start decorating. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to glue it up. All right. Melody finished gluing on all of her um, Seder plate pieces 
Um, but now she's outside playing, so that's fine. Um, once it dries, or kind of dries, the last step that you're gonna do, um, I used a toothpick, but whatever you feel, I bet a pen would also work, is you're gonna go right to the top here, and you're gonna poke a hole, and just run a string or something, like a string or some yarn, ribbon, whatever, through it, and just tie a knot at the bottom. And now you can hang up your super awesome Pesach whirly gig. It's got all the fun elements on both the top and the bottom. Let me see if I can get a better angle. But this thing is so cool. Okay, so here it is in all of its glory. You can see everything on the top here. We have our beautiful fader plate elements on the top from our printable. And underneath, Melody wanted to do all of the fun representation craft pieces. And here is our fun Passover whirly gig. I hope that you guys have fun and you make it your own. This thing was a long drawn out process, but that was because we chose to do paint and, um, and other things. The paint is what took the longest to dry. But um, if you wanna do it a little bit faster, I'd recommend markers, but this thing is super cool. I cannot wait to, and I'm not gonna hang it up here. <laughs> I can't wait to hang it up. We're gonna probably put it right over there under our vent. And um, happy crafting, everybody. Ready, ready, ready.